Welcome back to Cactus Core plays Crash Bandicoot 1 on the Insane Trilogy. My name is Kevin Andre. My name is Bobby. And that we're was still, awfully fast. We're still getting <laughs> drunk. So, excuse me. It's a warm boy in, in this bitch right it, now. It's not warm. Kevin seems to get really warm if he has even the smallest amount of alcohol. And it's weird to me. It's not a uh, euphemism. I'm not, like, getting hot and bothered, if you know what I mean. I'm just also that. sweating my tits off. So I need to take off my woolen socks that I was wearing earlier. Holy shit. A mouse fell. The world is over. The world is over. War is over. Shout out to Christmas. Coming soon to a <laughs> theater near you. What? Uh, anyway, so last time... The fuck did you just say? We did a bunch of... Uh, the war is over. Shout out to Christmas. Okay. You know the song? Do I? You know John Lennon's song? It's a song. It's called... Was it... Happy Christmas, War is Over. Was it John Lennon as a separate thing? Or was it actually just... It was, it was John Lennon. Oh. I don't give a shit about him. He's trying to tell me he has not heard this song. I haven't heard that song. So what, what's going to happen is when Christmas time comes around. I'm going to hear it non-stop. Yeah. And non-stop. I'm just going to be blasting David Bowie's drummer boy right back at him. That'll probably be part of it. Yeah. Peace Take that. On <laughs> I know that one. Yeah. I'm sure you know the John Lennon song, too. I don't think I do. Oh, that's weird. So this is Christmas. And what have you done? Once John Lennon separated from the Beatles, he became an overrated piece of shit. Uh, oh, hello, Gring- Gringo. Gringo star. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, gotta figure it out. Get. All right, so uh, can you can you hop on the gringo guy? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, it's just purple drag. Mm, Sorry, I need to wait for the gringos. Drag. Multiple gringos. Pinchy gringo. Whoa. Oh yeah. Got to be careful about that. About pinchy gringos? Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody would agree. Who was it that you said was a pinchy gringo? Oh, it was Caden. I remember. Yes. In Mass Effect. Okay. I wouldn't have remembered that unless you had said it. Yes. I, I remember. But, uh, I ship it. Get fucked. No! You got fucked. I need a plank of wood. Well, just die like five more times. Okay. Uh, Do you get it? Because he doesn't have enough lives to die that many times. Yeah, eventually it, they'll, they'll take a, a pity fuck on me. Eventually they'll take a pity fuck on you. Yeah, that's how they do. I don't think that sentence worked out as well as you were hoping it would. It's gonna know. No! How do you take a pity fuck on someone? <laughs> Look, man. Uh... So you're you're taking one for the team, right? Because you know the girl that you you you're banging. Well, generally it's not a pity fuck if, if you're the if you're the guy. <laughs> so it's not a pity fuck if you're the guy. Yeah. Well, it's a pity fuck for you. Yeah. Okay, I get what you're saying now. Um. So you haven't gotten laid in your while, and your female friends like, all right, fine. You know, let's just fucking get her done. Yeah, I don't think that's an actual thing, but sure. No. You're right, I don't know. I, I, I do know. Um, anyway. So. Um, do you know? I do. Oh. Almost. Cock and cock and cock! Start at the top left side and run down to the Start bottom of the left side. Start at your fucking asshole and go down to the, to the tank. I'm not gonna do that. And then up the ball sack. And then up the shaft, and you jump off to your death. I really hope somebody does not jump off my dick to their death. Or do you? Like, don't get me wrong, it'd make an interesting story on CNN. And I'd love to see the close-up, but uh, I, I just... No, that would be unfortunate. 
So go up to the top left. Yeah, and when he starts throwing, then just work your way down to the left side, so that way you have room to not die. See? It worked out. Get fucked three times in a row, friend. Oh! Okay, that was bullshit. And you know it was bullshit. Yeah. Hello, friend. So when you get to that last bitch, top left, and then do a zigzag pattern down. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, uh, so you're getting yeah, a pity thuck from, from your female friend. Right. And you're doing it on top of your other friend, who's just laying in the bed. Like, they are the bed. Oh. That's what happens. Oh. I don't think that's a normal thing. It is now. Well, I called up Dr. Pityfuck, and she's like, I'm dead. Hey, Blue. Yep, and zigzag. Zigzag boom. Yeah. What? Round oh. two. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> it's like close to the final boss. Whoa. Wow! Okay, I couldn't have started at part two. No. That'd be great if it dropped down a little checkpoint box for you, and it's just like, yeah, part two now. But no, this game hates you. I don't know what to do on that last part. He beat up the, the stone, so I'm assuming he wants to beat up the stone. It's a stone, Luigi! I chiseled it! <laughs> it's a football! Don't! I'm honestly surprised that you're still alive. I'm hella good at this game, didn't you know? I have seen a lot of evidence to the exact opposite. You don't know. Maybe I've edited the entire series so that it's just the run, the perfect run each time. Cox! Alright. So I assume I want to hide behind the stone? Maybe try spinning on the stone, too. Spinning on the stone? Yeah, spin that shit. Nope. It did not work. Run away! Come beat up the stone. Gonna hurt your hands. Come on, friend. use that to jump on his head? Oh, okay, I see. I see what's happening here. Union's been on strike. He's down on his luck, it's tough. I don't know why one song always leads into the other for me, but it does. <laughs> it's such a weird, oddly specific thing. Yeah, they don't even sound the same. But yet. It's okay, you're cute, I forgive you. Every time I sing the song, I always end up at Bon Jovi. Everything's yeah. coming up Bon Jovi. I called Dr. Bon Jovi. He said, I'm John. I'm like, no, you're not. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> bon Jovi, everyone. I think you would like the latest South Park episode. Would I? Yes. I've never seen South Park. Yes, you have. Oh. I've made you watch a couple of episodes, at least. Okay. But yeah, I think you, you would like the latest one. We actually make you watch it. I'm just trying to find random shit to say that isn't too intrusive, so that way you can still focus on the boss fight. But if I'm too entertaining, then that way they distract him and... And then I die. Right. And then he gets a big dick about things. Which is probably going to happen anyway, so... I mean, yeah. That's just how it do. Holy shit. Wow, you got lucky there. I got very lucky. Now you gotta jump on that head. Come at me, bro. I, 
I assume I missed. I, I assume you probably did too. That seems like a safe assumption. Unless I'm supposed to spin out his head. Maybe. I don't know. Keep trying. Figure something out. Bobby's just the best sidekick. Am I right? Am I right, folks? I try. Do you want me to look up? Slap today? like on the video if you think Bobby's a good sidekick. <laughs> Zero <laughs> likes. Yeah, just a whole bunch a of thousand dislikes. dislikes. Yeah, for some reason, a whole bunch of people came to this episode just to dislike it. To say how terrible of a sidekick that I am. Yeah, I agree. They've never even heard of us. That's true. But, you know, if Davey challenged us to a slap based battle, I'd take it. Yeah, he would lose instantly. Oh, yeah. Like, I can play enough bass that if I wanted to record a pretty simple bass line, I could. I have a bass. That being said, it is a I, fancy I, bass. Uh, I can't play bass. <laughs> to slap at the bass. To trim the beard. To make the bristle clean like a whistle. This is from early infancy. That'll get to me, my god. Yes. Well, I rebound off of him. Aha! So that was the right call. Yeah, you are... yeah. You just gotta find a way to hit his head. If I if I spin on him, I rebound away, so it's good. Yes. Not me, bruv. He's dead. There you go. Rip. Whoa. I don't think that's physics. You don't know. He had super strong arms. Oh. If, you're, if your arm gets strong... Then you can do the floaty boy. So. Strong. So strong. The lamb. Yeah. You'll be fine. I'm sure this level will be easy peasy. No problems. You got this, champ. Easy peasy lemon bitch. Oh. What? Yeah. Just dead right off the bat. His shoes went flying through the thingy? Yeah. Got him. Yay! I know you're... Now I know you're not a complete failure. Well, let's not go too far. Alright, I won't. I see. was worried you weren't going to figure that one out. No, I got it. Especially good job on that one. You made it look like you did it on purpose. I did, because it was very easy to figure out. I don't know about that. Aha! I knew it! I knew <laughs> there was going to be a jape around here. I would have laughed. Oh shit, if that thing killed me. The, the flying wobble fruit? Yeah. That would have been pretty funny. I would have laughed. Our fan would have laughed. Hi, Ronnie. How did I already get three of those girls? Uh, well, you opened three boxes that had them in them. Impressive. Because that's how things work. Is it? I think there was probably a thing up there. Yeah, probably. Oh, well. Can't stop, won't stop. Four, five. I hope my counting helped. Nope. Oh, well, fuck you too. <laughs> and yes, you missed two boxes. I'm not too upset about it. I am upset for you. Oh. Hello, Mr. Science Man. Just right off the edge. That's how scared Cavandre is of science. Oh. He's up. Yeah. He's up like now. Hey, friend. <laughs> okay. I don't think that we can just start saying slap like that. <laughs> no, probably not. Probably need to stop that shit. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. 
But there has to be a cactus core equivalent. Yeah. Something that would be legally safe to rip off. Oh no. Bullshit! <laughs> what a cut. Oh, it's so good. I mean, I don't think he's got it trademarked, but maybe let's not do that. Right, we still want to maintain good graces with him. I want to be his best friend. Yeah. I, I want him to whisper sweet Italian things I to me at night. I want him to slap me now. If he could do Italian ASMR... Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, that was almost cool. Them wily e. Coyote physics. Yeah, if he could do some Italian-speak ASMR, that'd be dope. I'm having a V8 right now! Does a V8 count if you mix it half and half with vodka? You know, it's V9. The uh, the vodka makes it a nine. Yeah, an extra, it's an extra v. v. Yeah. Hear that, people? When people just be like, "Oh, I'm having a V8," and they get all smarmy about it, because I assume people do that. Uh, just be like, "Yeah, well, if you mix it with vodka, it's a V9." But you didn't know that, did you? You basic bitch. They did not. And know. then you can be all superior to them for a brief while, and life will be good for you. And you can thank the cactus core for that uh, important life tip. Yeah. That's what we're about. Important life V8 related tips. Yeah, drink like now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to take a shot. Oh god, on a dollar. Um uh, okay. In, in God we trust. In America, you put the in God we trust on the money. In Soviet Russia, we have no money. <laughs> Good joke. Shout out to Yakov Smirnov appearing on King of the Hill. Yeah. Just the only joke I know. Just, I know another just in general. I know another one of his jokes. He was talking about, you know, when I was a kid and we moved over here and we were on the boat ride. We pulled into the bay in California and the first thing I see, my first sight of American freedom, is a big billboard with a bottle of vodka on it that says, We love Smirnoff. What a country. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Smirnoff is pretty good. That's what we're drinking tonight. Yes. Because I got it for free for Christmas. The best kind of free. From work. Yes. Well, that worked out. I agree. Well, that did not. You I need to. Shit. I need to jump <laughs> better. You almost double tap that TNT TNT box, which would make it explode automatically. It does not. Really. You spin on it. Oh well, if I spin on it, then yes, I would die. That's not what I'm looking yes. for. Yes, you got you got to die. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Uh, well, I don't think it's what you're supposed to do, but it seems to be what you're good at. So, what have we got? I wish that crash was see-through. If the, if the if you could not maybe tilt the camera angle side to side, but at least up and down some, so you could see around them better. Yeah, there's no movement. Activision our noob for shicking for shicking <coughs> Activision our noob for shicking broken game yeah this they game. they're shaving it this game that came out like 20 years ago yeah how, how dare they not have all the features that we're used to today I agree they should make a new one instead yeah that's it make a new Crash Bandicoot game oh. we'll play it on the channel maybe let's not promise things that we, we let not be too rash rash bandicoot i'm just saying we would one of us would you would i like my rash bandicoot and I'm like, it's fucking stupid <laughs> yeah could you imagine if you got a rash in the shape of crash bandicoot what it's a little I ricocheted. It's a little lizard fella. You jumped right off. I did not. I absolutely <laughs> fucking did not. And also, the lizard fella is a bullshit fella. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I could probably look up to see if that's a real thing. It is. 
I call that Dr. Lizard Fella. Crash Bandicoot Lizard Ledge. Let's see. Is, is this a. a Alright, I'm calling BS on this one. It's a Chlamydosaur, apparently. That's, uh, I've heard better names. Yeah, so have I. <laughs> That's not a great one. There's no right time. Okay, to let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Well, good news is, you're not alone. <sighs> Or you just slide off of the chlamydia where people are saying that it uh getting something like it reverts inverts your controls to where left maybe was. that's it uh, I, I thought of it as sliding but could very well just be that it's inverting me zap, zap, zap. some people think it's a thing where if you were to try to spin on them from behind it doesn't work out because they have the scaly backs and it's registering as like a push away hitbox thing. So, and that might be what's causing that. So, okay. So I'm not alone. You're not alone. There's a lot of people who seem to not have the problem at all, but enough are. So yeah. Why, 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 uh, Good question. I have I have no clue. That was too many lies. Now I'm explaining to one of my chess kids about the McRib. What even is a rib? It's an overrated sandwich. It's a street. It's a way <laughs> to open shit. Uh, but pretty much, you're like, is it worth going out of the way to go grab it? And I'm like, no. But if you're there and you're curious, sure, okay. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, if you would have oh. died right there. Good times. Look at all them boxes you missed. All them boxes. Did you just catch it? Yeah. I jizzed right into my face. Yeah, he was doing like the jizzing motion. Just like huge jack-off dick. Just, oh yeah, it's uh, two feet long. Which he does sometimes. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I've seen it. Stop bragging. <laughs> uh... <laughs> But then he finished onto his face and was like, and ate it. And I'm like, no, that's, I take a potato juice. That's not normal. And eat it. Is yeah. it a diamond fella? Yeah, it's a little diamond fella. I mean, do I want the diamond fella? What is this? I can't touch that. No, you did not get enough things to uh, experience the little diamond fella. Cool. So moving on. No problem with me. I missed zero boxes. <laughs> well, hold on now. <laughs> there you go. Dr. N -n 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 Neo! He is the one. As the final episode, are you going to make me do the Stormy Ascent one? Just to see how bad I am at it? I'm kind of tempted now that you brought <laughs> it up. Why is it on fire? Hey. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's no big deal. Smack that green one. Oh, smack the green one. Maybe. I don't know. Or the purple. There you go. You did good. Oh, hey. Hey, Vatoni. Oh. Yeah, see where it started falling along the ground? No, I seen it. Did you? I did. Because you jumped right into it like you didn't. You blind motherfucker, now I gotta beat you up. <laughs> Why is he still laughing about that? I don't know. This is fucking weird. <laughs> Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. 
Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, yeah it's to DBZ. Darn you! Kakarot! Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then you get, you know, you lose your appeal. Yeah. And then you tell Nappa to, like, fuck off and die. Oh. Just, you know. On second thought, Nappa, catch it. Catch it with your teeth. Man, DBZ abridged is so good. Why is that up there? Uh, cuz. Oh. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! Because... Activision or noob for shipping broken game. No, I think it's not necessarily a guaranteed hit, so you just gotta hit a few of them at him until he runs into it. Okay. Just add a difficulty each time. It's gonna be a long episode, folks. I'm not good at this uh, puzzle uh, timing shit. You, you gotta get good at this one. I can't do the final boss. I'm not one. asking you to. <laughs> like the kangaroo one? Sure. Alright, what else? I'm, I'm gonna give you a little shit for it, but I get it. No worries. No worries. We, uh, we bros. Or maybe I do need to do the final boss if you get to the point that you fucking hate it. Because you did it for me for Mother 3, and I've yet to repay that favor. <laughs> no, that's fine. Alright. I got this. If it was Ripper Roo as the final boss, then yeah, you'd, you'd be doing this. Alright. Because Ripperoo is the most difficult boss in gaming. Yes, everybody knows that. I don't know if you were aware. I was not. That was stupid. I don't remember this shit. I think they made it harder. I remember Kat Icarus saying that this... Fuck you. That this final boss was too easy or something. So maybe they made it harder for the remake. Could be? Yeah, I don't remember this bit of the final boss. I think I remember the final boss... Uh, the third game, which is also Neo Cortex, but just a very different boss battle. Yeah, one of them has a jetpack, and I know that. I'm not sure which game it is, but one of them has a jetpack, where I want Crash to have a jetpack the entire fucking time. Yes. One of these days you'll get that. Yeah, I know, I'll figure it out. Nah, the creators, Why? creators of Crash and Spyro will come together and they'll use Crash Bandicoot, but just with a jetpack. And it'll have, like, the same physics as Spyro. Yeah, last time they did a, a crossover game, it did not work out. So... Did they do a crossover game? Well, maybe not the last time, because technically the last time would be Crash uh, Racing. Because Spyro's playable in that. In the new one, I mean. Oh, okay. Uh, they did a, a GBA games. Crash Purple and Spyro Orange. And apparently they were terrible. I do not recall that at all. I watched the Ant Dude episode on them. Or Ant Dude or Catacris. I think they were both in it. Oh. And since Ant Dude is ripping you off now. Is he? Yeah. How's he ripping me off? What? Because he has a problem. Oh, yes. That was my thing. I know. Yeah. Totally original content. Do not steal. Yeah. Cease and desist, good sir. Fuck you! Whenever somebody sends out a cease and desist letter, that's ours too. Yeah, that's my whole thing. Yes. I made a pun once <laughs> in the car, and he was like, hey now, whoa now, that's, that's my thing, cease and desist. That's true. <laughs> and it's one of the funniest things that I think he's ever said. <laughs> Darn you, Neo bitch Tex. Yeah. That's right. His, his name is Tex. Hey, at least you get save points. Yes. And it's not a go back to the beginning of the game because fuck you. And then they spit on you. Yeah, shout out to arcade games. Yeah. I swear. Once, uh. His head is bad. Yes. Once Space Invaders figured out adjusting difficulty levels, uh, it was all downhill from there for arcade games. Amen. Yeah, that's one odd bit of low trivia that I know. The uh, ascending difficulty level was a mistake. Fuck you! Are you serious? I swear on Odin's grave. Yeah, and the initial release of Space Invaders. All the little things moving and all that stuff on the screen at the same time. Even though it's simple now, it was a lot yeah, back then. Now. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, uh, the processor couldn't keep up with doing it at the speed they wanted. 
So it just really slowed down to try and handle it, and that's the beginning. And then as you take more things off screen, it can handle it better, and that's when it speeds up to what was the normal speed. Right. So really, that last bit where they're going way too fucking fast and you die, that was supposed to be the normal speed the entire time. To let you know how unfair they were planning on making that game. You should have shot where we were going to be, not where we were. <laughs> Orange Fanta and Rush Mixtape. Quarters! <laughs> a million allowances worth of quarters! Futurama is a great show. It is. I need to rewatch it. it has been a while. Green. That green go. <laughs> no, we've never been here before. Thank you. Cock -locking. No cock. No cock. So you gotta get in the corner and do 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 green. So typewriter that shit. I don't know if you know this. What you make this game? I figured. But you get to make me do Stormy Ascent after this, if you want. I don't actually care that much. And then... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm kind of ready to just leave this game behind and never touch it again. Well, that's fair enough. But look, it's just one boss battle. Three more hits. That's all you gotta get on. How hard could it be? Very Like, aside from the first episode, I don't think I've ever done well in this game. Yes, that first episode, you were you were getting that swag on about how great you were at this game, I recall. It was a jape, and you know it. I know it was a jape, but still, it was a thing. It was a monster jape. The jape, the jape. It was a graveyard jape. Sorry, <laughs> One more time. Oh, thank you, Odin. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, fuck. Is that it? Is that all? Are we finally done? So, girl. Yes. Hips full contact. Get it in. Crash. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna crash right into her. Yeah. You know what they say about bandicoots with big noses. Uh, I don't. Their glasses stay on their face. Uh -huh. <gasps> you do that glasses <laughs> thing I told you about? Uh, what glasses thing? I uh, don't worry about it. Anyway. Um. Uh, Oh, anyway, okay. that was uh, Crash Bandicoot <laughs> in the Insane Trilogy. Yeah. It only took us a while. Uh, Kavandre was not great at it, but he I, managed through it. I hated it, and I only had him do one boss that I would have never done. Yes. So. I'm, I'm very proud of him for sticking through it and finally playing it. Uh, depending on... Well, depending on what the fan says, hi, Roddick, uh, we might play the other two, but it would be me playing it. Don't know if that's anything that you're interested in. Might do it to break up, like, the visual novel side and intertwine that with some of the Ace Attorney games. So that way it's not, like, three things of Ace Attorney right back to back. We don't know. We'll figure it out. That but, would be something. That would certainly be shorter than your next game after Ace Attorney, so. Yeah, so that might be a plan, because we, we really want to play the next game of Ace Attorney. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked for it. I'm, I'm very excited for it. But we'll figure that out when it gets there. But me playing this sort of game, like, I'm talking shit, I know that if I was in his shoes, oh man, I would be way angrier. We got proof. Watch Ori. <laughs> yeah, I get angry at games, but I don't get, like, Bobby angry at games. Yeah, I get actual angry at games. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much all we got. So, tell me, what, what were your thoughts about it? Uh, so, I think the remake is pretty. I know it's even prettier on the PS4 and Xbox. We played this on the Switch, as we told you before. Um, so, But for a Switch port, it's still pretty pretty. Um, 
I bought it months ago on sale during GameStop game days. Um, I kind of wish that I got it on Xbox, but I bought this before I got the Xbox. However, um, Crash Insane Trilogy is part of next month's Humble Monthly for November 2019. So if you want to get it on Steam, just sign up for Humble Monthly. You'll get the Spyro Trilogy too. Which is a really good deal. So that's just a good deal just for those two things alone, let alone the other things that are coming out with it. So I'll get I'll get this on PC and never touch it. But um, yeah, I mean, if I consider the fact that it's a 20-something-year-old game, fine. I don't think it's great. Like I said before, I honestly completely believe that Mario 64, the original release, holds up better than this remake does. As far as game design. Yeah. Um, obviously the exception, you know, with Mario 64 is... Its biggest problem is its camera. This game doesn't let you control the camera at all, so... Problem solved. You know, that's the way to fix it. <laughs> Shout out to Spyro in Japan. Yeah. Um, yeah, if I were to give this game a total out of 10... If it came out today, it'd just be disappointing. If it came out today, it would be pretty bad score. I would probably give this just like a 5, and that's me being pretty generous. I know that the sequels are better, but god, I, I didn't enjoy this. Yeah. I got a, a most agreeable feeling of success on some stages, right? Right. Um, I actually really kind of liked the bridge levels a lot. I thought, you know, oh, this is something that I just need to do. I can figure this out. I never felt like it was bullshit, aside from kind of the hog fella, because you can't kill him. Yes. Um, aside from that, I really did enjoy those stages, despite the, the frustration. Um, a lot of the other ones, I feel like I died due to bullshit, like the lizard fella. Um, that's horse cock. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. I didn't like the bosses very much either. Yeah, that's the one thing that the later games do much better. It's still not super great, but the bosses get a lot better in the later ones. The bosses in this one are pretty black. I believe the third game just has the one boss, but he does different things each time you face him, right? Uh, something like Crunch that. Crunch or something? It's a big bandicoot? Something like that. Yeah. Um... Yeah, but I'd give this game like a 5 out of 10. I mean, and that's me being pretty nice. When I played it way back in the day as Wii Lab, I really, really liked it. I liked the other ones way better because they had more to do, and I think the level design was a lot better later on. I don't think Crash 1 is anybody's favorite. Right, but it, it did have some very interesting programming challenges that they were able to overcome at the time, and yeah. watching some of the videos of how they did that is amazing. Right. I like how pretty this is. I like that they included some of the extra stuff. Uh, Being able to play as Coco. And yeah, that was certainly... cut level one. Yeah, and some of like, the alternate path routes and all that stuff that I don't remember being in there. There's replayability with all the time missions that you can go back and do. Yeah, that's happening. I remember doing that as a kid for the second game, I want to say. That was 20 years ago, though, so if my memory's fucked up, I'm sorry about that. But I do remember doing that a lot. And it was a whole lot of fun. It was like my first real, hey, do this fast, master it, learn, memorize all the key buttons and all that stuff. This was probably my first actual platformer game. I lie, Mega Man was. But this was right there behind it. And I like this beggar better than the Mega Man that I had. So I never played a Mega Man either. For me, personally, I would probably give this like a 6.5 or a 7. Yeah. Somewhere in there. I think the music is catchy enough. It's not like any Donkey Kong game with the better music. Oh, God. But I would put up with so much more. Yeah. I, I still like a lot of the music here. It fits this game. It's not yeah. bad. I, I don't mind the music. Yeah. I like the character design. I like the woes. For the most part, I liked how smooth everything felt at the time. Nowadays, <laughs> it's gotten so much better because even just like the technology and the controllers has gotten so much better and responsive. You would not be able to have that back then. So compared to something nowadays, the controls are fucking horrible. <gasps> right. But I was also still raised manageable. on platformers. <laughs> uh, my favorite games growing up the entire time were platformers on Nintendo consoles. Not all of them were great. 
but um, they were better than this. So there's that. Yes. I think that there are plenty of N64 platformers. If I had played this game on the PS1 back in the day, my distaste for PlayStation would have started at a very young age. <laughs> Conversely, I only played Gex, which is a much better game. So I would pick disagree. Up, pick up Gex One on the PS One. I would say pick up the uh, Crash Insane trilogy and just kind of play for the first game if you want, or just start with the second because the second kicks it up a uh, much better notch. Hi, Elizabeth McGlynn. Hi. Anyway, well, but yeah. So that's what like a six five point seven, five point right? seven, six out of ten, somewhere in there. Somewhere around that range. John DiMaggio. I didn't hear him. No one ever hears John DiMaggio. He was probably Koala Khan. Probably. Anyway. Um, so yeah, if we do crash again, it'll be him. Right. Um, we probably won't do Stormy Ascent here. I'll probably play it off-channel. Then again, like I'm kind of intrigued by the... Um, what is it? It's it's the one where, where Crash and Cortex are like glued together at the hand. It's I think it was a PS2 game. I don't know. Mm, don't recall that one. We'd have to look that one up. Uh, it's right on the top of my dick too. I know that. Eh, whatever. But yeah, uh, let us know what you guys think. I still think it's a fun game. I still think it's worth playing if you pick up the Insane Trilogy for 2 and 3. But it's very much early project-ish of its time kind of thing. So when you're judging it, you gotta kind of look at it that way. And I got it's CTR uh, on Xbox, which I've been holding off on playing until I played through this game so that I would know the characters better and stuff. Yes. Um, I, I don't know that I'm gonna play it for a while, but... Especially since I don't really do racing games. He doesn't do racing games, but I'm intrigued by the single-player mode. Um... Anyway, uh, is that it before shoutouts? I think that's it. Oh yeah, time trialer yeah. developer best Fuck times. Those. Yeah, slippery climb, two minutes nineteen seconds. I'm assuming those are all from the second game. I believe so. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, Orient Express was a really fun level. Let's do shoutouts. Well, I'm intrigued by Orient Express. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm a lot of what I'm remembering is probably the third game. Interesting. I think most people like the second game the best, but like I think Cat Icarus likes the third game the best because I think it was the first game he said he ever played or something. Oh, okay. But and no bandicoots were harmed in the creation of this game. Bullshit. <laughs> you ever seen a bandicoot? <laughs> no. Yeah, we got rid of them. They're dead. Yeah. This game, all those lives, it was a mass genocide of bandicoots. See the blood on their ears? You see it? Yeah. Of course. But on to shoutouts. <laughs> Instead of talking about dead bandicoots. Uh, so I found myself in an odd corner of YouTube the other day where I was watching Asian dance troops for some reason. I don't know how I got there, but I, I did. And it was a thing. So yeah. But one channel in particular caught my eye and I want to do a shout out to them it's a uh, 1 million dance studio and they will upload videos of different people and they it's like a beginner class and they'll have a little cutscenes of a couple of different beginners doing a routine there and sometimes uh, someone will do their own routine and they'll want to show it off to a song usually it's more like the the poppy songs uh, Bruno Mars has a couple of songs on there that they were dancing to stuff like that and it's just it's oddly fascinating it's not something I would have gone out of my way for, but once I started watching it, I just kept watching it for like six fucking hours, and that's how I spent my Friday night. So, yeah. Shout out to them for being crazy addictive. That, that, that's all I got. Uh, okay, so last time I talked about uh, El Camino, which is the Breaking Bad movie. Yeah. Um, which got me on a, on a torrent of watching a ton of Breaking Bad-related YouTube videos, like I mentioned before. Like, I watched all of their Emmy acceptance speeches and things like that. Um, 
One of the videos that I watched was uh, something called The Dichotomy of Walter White and Gus Fring. And I think I've watched this one before, and I think I might have even mentioned it before on the channel. This is Bobby doing this, by the way, so we're probably going to cut it off in the middle of it. Right, this is just me dinking around. Don't uh, worry about this. And it's by the YouTube channel Gil Brummett. Um, and it was very interesting. It was, you know, uh, I think he made it for his, like, college class. Um, and it's basically him just, you know, basically going over the dichotomy of Walter White and Gus Fring and how they're very similar and yet very different in key ways and things like that. It was definitely well worth watching. So I would definitely go check out this uh, this video. It was it was pretty interesting, um, especially if you're into video essays, which sometimes I get on a kick of watching a ton of video essays. Right. And since we're uh, mostly well known for doing a video essay, which is odd, you know, like a fucking five minute video essay. Um. But yeah, that's what happened. So I would check out the video if you like uh, Breaking Bad. It's good shit. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Should, should we keep talking until you die? Uh, no, I'm probably about to die here in just right, a second. Cool. We'll cut this one off. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what am I playing next? Uh, ukulele and the Impossible Lair. Um, I I was not super into ukulele the 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 first game. I, I was a Kickstarter backer for it. Um, but then you know the game came out and I thought it was just really bland. Um, but I've heard nothing but really good things about this new game that came out. Right. Um, I, I guess people are, are saying that it's a ripoff of Tropical Freeze, which I love Tropical Freeze. Um, so it's good. Uh, you'll recall Bobby did not love Tropical Freeze, so we're, it's just me playing it. Uh, it's not a not a co-op experience this time around. Um, right. I really did not like Tropical Freeze. Right. I had problems. But, uh, yeah, so that'll be uh, fun. I swear, if he fucking does this without dying, I'm gonna shit a fucking chicken. I don't know if this level is like supposed to be too hard or if they just uh, cut it and put it in. Oh fuck! You didn't even die. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna watch this until he dies anyway, and then once he dies, then I'll just cut the shit off. Sounds good. Did not uh, did not love this game. I'll, I'll, I don't know if you noticed. I did. Gonna do this on his first try. No, I'm I'm about to die. I promise. I said that before. Like right here. This seems like a good spot to die. That timing is just super. It's weird. really long. Oh, that was lucky. Fuck. Okay. Cool. All right. See you guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.